So the last thing we need to do is come up with the vertices for this portion. So we need to figure out what this number is for this Cartesian point. This one, these two we should already have. And this one is 35 and 0. This one is 30 and 0. Then between these two, this one is the intersection of 1 and 3. So if we try to find the intersection of equation 1 and 3, we have to look at our equations there and see that we'll, we've got equations of y equals 30 minus x and y equals one third x. Again, we're looking at the lines here. We're not looking at the inequalities themselves. So here we've got y and y. I'll set those equal. So we've got 30 minus x is equal to one third x. If I move this x over, we get 30 is equal to four thirds x. Or what is that? Seven and a half times three. Looks like 22 and a half is our x value. And so the associated y value, if we go 22 and a half from 30, we get y equals what, seven and a half. So this point here is 22 and a half. Seven and a half. Then our last point is where equation two meets equation three. So 23 and a third, comma, 7, and 7 ninths is that last point. Last thing we need to do is check and see which of these points we've got four to choose from. Which of those points, when plugged into our exposure equation, will give us the largest values. Okay. We can plug each one of these four points in, and by linear programming, we know that one of those four points will be uh, the maximum, one of those four points will be the minimum exposure on or subject to these constraints. But we just need to figure out which one is largest now by plugging them in vertices, exposure. We'll start with 30, comma. 0, 35, 0. Those are the easy two. Of course, we're looking to maximize something, so 30, 0 is out. 22 and a half, 7 and a half, and 23 and a third, 7 and 7 ninths. Are all the possible values we're looking at here, so E is equal to 35 times 1.3 plus 0 times 0.9 so 4.55 So this is about equal to 37 and a third, which is definitely the largest of these vertices. The smallest we can assume would be that one. 
So 37 and a third is the maximum exposure that occurs when we buy 23 and a third spots of Family Guy. And seven and seven ninths spots of American Dad. We can check if we want to to make sure that each of these criteria is met, but they should be by the nature of this. Um, so we should be under the seventy thousand dollar limit, under thirty, or sorry, over thirty, which we are twenty three plus seven, and uh, seventy five percent of the shows at least should be Family Guy which is definitely the case. As usual, if you have any questions, please let me know.